Hi, I'm John Bigler from the Bigler Law Firm. Uh, we specialize, concentrate in the area of elder and disability law. Uh, today I'd like to talk about a situation where um, a spouse needs either community or institutional Medicaid. Uh, the good thing about New York is we are undoubtedly the most liberal state when it comes to husbands and wives. Um, as I mentioned previously, community Medicaid we can make the person eligible by transferring assets to anyone, and there is no period of ineligibility. In the nursing home situation, when you transfer to a third party, there is a period of ineligibility where Medicaid will not pay for the nursing home. There are exceptions. A transfer to a spouse or to a disabled child does not result in a period of ineligibility, even in the nursing home scenario. Um, so therefore, a spouse that comes in to see me and typically is very nervous and upset, and uh, you know, upset, you know, it's a problem the fact that they're they're emotionally upset dealing with uh, having a spouse entering a nursing home. And I'll tell them, I can't do anything about the emotions of having to place your spouse in a nursing home, but I can relax you as far as the assets. People are concerned that not only am I putting my spouse in the nursing home, but we're going to get wiped out. And I'll explain to them that we can transfer all of the spouse's, institutionalized spouse's assets to the spouse at home. Let's make it easy. Let's say husband is going into the nursing home and, and wife is at home. We can transfer husband's assets today and he will be immediately eligible. Uh, a lot of times I explain this and people will still say, oh, but we have to wait five years, the look back period. And I would say, no, you can apply right away. Uh, now, the law does say that the spouse in the community, in this case the wife, is allowed a certain amount of money. This year, 2013, the community spouse resource allowance is almost $116,000. If you have more than that, Medicaid says that that excess assets are considered available for husband in the nursing home. That doesn't include the house, by the way. The house is an exempt asset. Um, However, here in New York, we have what's called spousal refusal, so that even if the spouse in the community, the wife, has more than $116,000, we can still make husband eligible by simply having wife, as part of the Medicaid application, submit a, a spousal refusal statement. She, in effect, is saying that money over and above the community spouse resource allowance that you, Medicaid, is saying is available I refuse to make it available. And the federal law says that in such a situation where the spouse refuses, Medicaid has to provide care for the person in the institution. It's not foolproof. Uh, the local Department of Social Services can come back later and bring an action against the spouse. Um, they can also look to attach a lien to the community spouse's assets after her death. Um, but these are all things that we can prepare for, um, and the initial, the initial concern of having to spend privately upon entrance in the nursing home is eliminated by spousal refusal. Um, spousal refusal also works in the home situation. We can transfer all the assets to the spouse, or again, or anyone, and we can ha have the spouse sign a statement saying, I want this application for home care to only be for my, my spouse, not for me. I don't need it. And, and that will help as far as preserving that asset, the assets of the spouse and the income of the spouse as well. So especially in the spousal situation, there are many things we can do even at the last minute. Thank you.